you're thinking, look, things are really convenient in my life right now. I'm kind of doing a thing. I'm trying to get the business going. I'm focused on school. I'm trying to do this relationship thing. Some of you are focused on your own thing, and as a result of that, you are blind to the burning bush that God is flashing in front of you. And some of you are like, oh man, oh how I wish that God would give me a word. Oh, how I wish that I could receive a word from the Lord. Guess what? God is flashing the burning bush to you, and he can't make it burn any brighter. He's saying, look, I'm giving you the sun. You've been asking for a sun. I'm giving you the sun. But now I'm waiting for you to turn aside from your own path and turn to me. You're thinking, where, where is God? God is there. God's flashing the burning bush in your direction, believe you me. So look, we're just starting this series today, what God can do through ordinary you, and we've been examining this secret to be extraordinary, and I just need to remind you what they are, these, these potholes, these traps that you want to avoid, that no matter what background you grew up with, no matter the labels placed upon you, no matter the circumstances that you grew up with, the good news is that God loves to use ordinary people to do extraordinary things. So if you're in that desert experience of your life right now, some of you are saying, well, I've been waiting for a long time. I've been praying for my kids and they haven't returned to the Lord yet. Some of you are saying, look, I've been working so hard at work, but I still haven't gotten the promotion. Some of you are saying, look, I've I've been doing my thing at school, and I just can't quite to sync up and, and sync up with the kind of friends that I want. Maybe you're in that desert experience of your life right now. You keep holding on and watching towards the mountain of God. If that's you right now, and you just feel like time is passing you by, and you feel like the opportunities have passed you by, you keep waiting. You keep believing in the name of Jesus, and you just keep watching for that burning bush that God wants to send you in your direction when the time is right. Because when the time is right, God is going to burn that burning bush brightly and boldly, just for you. And it's like, so come now. That's going to be your invitation now to turn aside from your purpose and your plans and to turn in the direction of God for His purposes and His plans. Oh, so I wonder if there's anybody here today. I'm going to make a little invitation that feels like life has passed them by. I wonder if there's anybody here today that may have fallen into one of those traps that we looked at today. And you're saying, yep, I've fallen into, you know, this trap of believing that my background is my limit or my labels are my limit or that my present circumstances are my limit. And some of you have been trying and you just cannot seem to crawl your way out of it. But today in the name of Jesus, you want to believe and you want to say, Jesus, through your power, I want to rebuke those labels. Does anybody want to say that today? Jesus, I want to use I want you to use me, ordinary though I be, to do extraordinary things. In the balcony, anybody want to say that? God, I want want you to use me, ordinary though I may be, to do extraordinary things. Amen. And I just want to pray for you right now. Let's just bow our heads wherever we are. For those watching online, let's pray together. Father in heaven, thank you for this example of Moses. Boy, did he have a messed up story. so many challenges got to the age of 80 I'm sure thinking well I guess I lived a good enough life provided for my family but when the time was right he said okay now I'm going to send that burning bush in his direction 
now I can finally use him. And so, Father, I just want to pray in the name of Jesus for every single person that raised their hand. Father, I believe I'm speaking to somebody here today who is currently trapped. They've fallen into one of those pits. And they're having a difficulty getting out. I just pray in the name of Jesus that you would break those bonds. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would lift them up. I mean, what does the scripture say? That you lifted me up out of the miry clay and set my foot upon the rock. Do that for them, I pray in the name of Jesus. And Father, also, I think for all of us as well, we long to be used by you in some way. We long to be used by you, ordinary though we may be, to do the extraordinary. Father, I don't, I don't have to do something extraordinary. But just use me in a simple way for you. It doesn't have to be something that other people notice. It doesn't have to be something that puts my name in lights. Just help me to do something for you. So, Father, we just commit ourselves once again into your hands. Thank you for blessing and being with each person that was with us as well. You saw, you know their prayer request, their need, the decision that they've made today. So now we submit ourselves entirely into your hands. We thank and we praise in the name of Jesus. Amen.